Hey everyone, welcome back. It has been way too long since I've made any content on this channel and I'm super excited to be back. So today we're going to be demoing this new plate from Lena Nail Art Supplies. This is Make Your Mark 03 and we're actually going to be zeroing in on this image right here. So I had to zoom you guys in. So this is a blank image. You're probably wondering what can I do with this? Well, Lena's whole concept behind this, which is honestly so innovative, this is to help with gradient nail art, which is super cool. Never seen anything like this before. And I'm super excited to share this with you guys. So usually when I do gradients, I use a sponge and that's the way I do it. Some people even prefer to use a fan brush, I believe, which hasn't personally worked out for me. So stamping is a completely new take on doing gradients. So right when I got this package, I went ahead and demoed that plate. So as you can see, there's a lot of testing going on. This isn't actually my original testing paper. This is my successful paper <laughs> that I did. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different color combinations of gradients and as well as solid images, which is really great. If you're honestly lazy to paint your nail, you can just stamp nail polish on your nail. What the hell? I know, that's crazy, right? So let's bring you guys in a little bit closer. This one here is purple and blue, and this one I tried to do a rainbow using the three primary colors being yellow, blue, and red, and uh, that didn't entirely work out too well, but the blend, really good. This one we have three colors being a dark blue, medium blue, and a light blue, and that blend is just wonderful. Here we have a red and yellow, and together that blended into orange in the middle here. So pretty. This is a teal and sort of like a purpley magenta color. Love that color combination. And over here we have a red and pink. So we're going to be going over the solid images now. You can see how just nice and opaque that picks up. So we have blue, red, purple, teal, and black. I even tried this with metallic polishes, so we have silver and gold. Oh my god, look at this shimmer, it's so pretty. And on a piece of cardstock that I have here, I went ahead and did hollow. Look at those rainbows, so pretty. And an actual glitter polish. How fun is that? And of course we had to test out white, which, I mean, white over anything black, like it's really easy to tell if that is not opaque, and that is so opaque. That is just mind-blowing. So for all of these, I used Born Pretty Store stamping polishes along with my clear jelly, one second, my clear jelly big bling stamper. I also use the clear jelly stamper scraper, excuse the mess, but that's what happens when you stamp. It is well loved and well used as you can see. So some people were mentioning that they were having difficulties getting the gradient or even a solid image to stamp. When I was first testing it, I was having the same issues, but once you get that technique down, you are good to go. Sorry if the flash is blinding you. I cannot help that right now, you guys. Um, we're going to be using these two Born Pretty Store stamping polishes along with the Clear Jelly Stamper Big Bling Stamper. By the way, like, isn't this just so aesthetically pleasing to look at? I think so as well as the scraper that came with the stamper and dirty, well-loved, I know, the life of a polish addict. So hopefully in this demo, it's gonna help you guys gain some tips and tricks on how to do this for yourself and everyone can be doing seamless gradients in this new, awesome, innovative way. So before we get started, I actually just wanted to explain the scraper that I'm using. Now, the usual scraper that I use is are these like more flimsy ones? That's, I don't know, like that's what I usually use. I have a bunch of these. Again, dirty, well-loved, what can you do? Um, and I noticed that this one from Clear Jelly Stamper is a little bit more sturdy. And this seemed to work better, or sorry, I should say give me better results versus the more flimsy scraper. So that's what I feel like works best for me. Okay, so getting into the polish now. I also want to point out that less polish is more remember less polish is more so i'm going to start off with this really pretty turquoise polish put that down you can honestly add i think up to five or six colors but it really depends on how long your nails are so i have my polishes down 
with a very little pressure you don't want to push down too hard like I'm barely like I mean it's like when I go like this it's like flopping between my fingers so I'm just using very little pressure and I'm going to start scraping in a few different directions until you get a nice blend I'm happy with that so now we're going to take our stamper and pick that up And just transfer that onto paper. Voila. Let's keep going and do a few more. So now we're going to be doing a purple and a blue gradient. So laying down that polish. This is more like a medium blue. Really nice color. And let's go in with that purple. You know what, you guys? Purple has kind of been my jam lately. I've been really liking purple polish. And it's weird because I never used to. Okay, on to scraping again flimsy a light pressure on an angle and just keep scraping until you're happy with the blend pretty happy with that look at that is that not perfect or what that is just incredible so let's go ahead and transfer this to paper look at that you guys like that was so easy Usually when you're doing sponging, you have to add on a couple of layers. This is just one layer and you're done. And it's going to dry a lot quicker versus layering on <laughs> a bunch of layers with your sponge. So now I'm going to demo just doing a straight out solid color. So we're going to be using Blackborn Pretty Store Stamping Polish. I honestly love their stamping polishes so much. I actually purchased the entire lot, all 19 of them, on eBay. I love them. Okay, we got that down. Let's take our scraper again very gently on an angle. You want to scrape, scrape, scrape. Well, you don't really have to scrape that much because we're not doing a gradient. And pick it up. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. So we're going to be moving on to another gradient. We're going to be using red and pink stamping polish from Born Pretty Store. Now keep in mind this can work with a regular polish like regular creams. Just be mindful that it, it's going to work better if they have more of a thicker consistency. Because sometimes when I do gradients with a sponge I will use thinner polishes. It just depends. But with this because you're stamping and it's all going to be done in like one coat you want to make sure whatever polishes you're using are opaque. Opaque. But I'm just Doing this with some stamping polish. Polish? Why did I say polish like that? Okay. So we got our two colors down. And let's scrape, scrape, scrape until we're happy with the blend. Just going to keep going until I'm happy. Oh, that looks perfect. Okay. There we go. Aha. Awesome. So hopefully these tips and tricks helped you guys. Just honestly, the main thing you got to really keep in mind is less polish is more. And when you're scraping, to use a very light pressure. Like you don't want to like be scraping really hard. You just want to use very light pressure and just gently glide over the surface and keep going until you're happy with the blend. That's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said before, it's been a while since I've made like any content on this channel. And I'm super excited to be back into the YouTube world. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love it if you could subscribe. And you can follow me on all social medias. All my social medias are is at Nail Experiments. I will link them all down below. As well as the link where you can purchase this plate. As well as my coupon code that will save you 15% off your next purchase. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!